Hello everybody, we are the panel. Minus rain. Minus rain. The rain's gonna come. <laughs> Sorry that we haven't been around for quite a while now, but we're back. We're just doing the catch up video. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a catch up. I am Van Wiljams. To my right is. Bill GP. To his right is. Blacklisted. And to his right is. Stevie Insta G. Did Boom! You, did you have to think about that? I was thinking, do I do the underscore? Can't be asked. Yeah. <laughs> How have we been? Alright. Yeah, some interesting things in and out of the sneaker world and sneaker community as we know it. Yeah, some good news, some bad news. Weddings. Weddings. Upgrade. Congratulations. Thanks. And while, while we have the opportunity and platform, we'd like to dedicate this episode to the good people that we know in the community Casper James Fox and our brother Ruel aka Oskeen. Both of you rest in peace and to their family and friends out there thoughts and prayers go out to you as well. Amen. Yeah. But on a brighter note, yeah what have we been up to? What's on our feet first of all? Oh, crep check. Crep check. check. Wait, who 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 coined the crep check? Was it Elijah? It was. It, it was. was. Elijah. Right, Big up. Me. Insta G. What's on foot? Just these uh, shat bat balls. Shiny. Nothing special. Just a bit shiny. Just, just a bit shiny. shiny. Yeah. Halloween quick. Yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Quick. Yeah, perfect for Halloween. Have yeah. you seen the matted ones in hand? No. Oh. Do you care about the matted ones? I thought I was. I thought I did, but no. Nah, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way. It's out. just. On foot, it's that on foot to in hand. When it's in hand, you're a bit, mm. when it's on foot and the light just hits it. I think rain, rain's done. Here. Yeah, rain, rain's dematted his. And they, they look decent, but on foot, they look fine with the shine. I wonder. Bars. Man's bars. Man's bars. bars. <laughs> Sir Blacklisted. Yes. What is one rocking today? Um, Surprise. Jesus, that was interesting. Yeah, on DS. Don't watch the sock. Sock games week, I know. Jeez, but um, straight from work, isn't it? Yeah. Oh gosh, that yeah, that is a straight from work <laughs> sock. I would say the comfiest shoes to come out this year. Really? Yeah. Uh, Mills uh, GP. Well, I'm wearing a <laughs> uh, <laughs> grey variant, and I do not believe these are the most comfortable shoes to come out this year. Mm. Um, Ooh. Are you in agreement that it's the shoe of the year? Yeah, I'd, I'd straight up say that it's the shoe of the year. You know, there's, I think there's, there's people who, on the normal day, would not even bat an eyelid to a shoe like this, especially with the shelf on the back. Um, you know, there's people who, people who are tearing the, um, the Cold War Vomeros apart, but absolutely love mm -hmm. these. So I think if a shoe can do that and the design can transcend people's gripes about having shelves on the rear, <laughs> then cool, isn't it? What a time to be alive. Exactly. But yeah, they're, they're not the most comfortable shoe. Um, I think they are. As coming from an Air, Air Max One, man, they're, they're bonkers for oh, me. Mate. Nah, um, but I don't put anything <coughs> on my feet. So. Yeah. It oh, seems like the Sakai's did it better than the is it ACW's. Oh, yeah, yeah. They definitely did it yeah. better than the Cold Wars. Yeah. But then, I mean, you know, the, all the Cold War did was take a normal Bomero and slap a. Tastefully exaggerated. Rather art, this guy. Yeah, What's indeed. your quill? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. What's on your feet? Van der Man Wills? Yes. I Van der Man Wills. <laughs> I have the LeBron 7 Retro. <gasps> Red carpet. It was a must. For me to to grab this shoe arguably one of the best basketball shoes from nike of our generation of basketball players yep um, um for the question and don't mean to put you on the spot no why problems. are they called red carpets they just were i think it was a debut or a match they just were fuck off yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. yeah. we will look that up and the fact will actually be above our heads yeah after editing Thanks to this guy. Good luck. Yeah. But yeah, um, retro, I'm glad they retroed. I hope a lot more retros of the 7 and 8 come out. Did you have them the first time around? No, I didn't. Mm. Best model, 
in the LeBron series? The seven and eight. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so on to other pressing matters. We've been out of the loop for a little while, but there has been a lot coming out. Insta G, what has tickled your fancy since we were last on camera? The pine green Sakai, which I didn't get. No salt. No salt? No. I've been at the violin. I got the summit. But pine green, ultimately, your top yeah, out of all the colours. I must want and need, but I didn't get it. So. Your shoe of the year. Well, Sakai was, but yeah. That colour but way. that colour yeah, way in particular. Way, yeah. Mr. Mills, what has tickled your fancy? The feet you wear, 97. This came out, nobody gave a shit about it. I didn't get it when it came out the first time round, uh, and I loved it, but, you know, being, how old was I? 14 and not having a job, I couldn't afford yeah. it. Um, so yeah, when they came out, I had to grab them, and, you know, the, the fact that I've not seen a single person wearing them makes me want them even more. I think I'm getting back to the place now where it's like, you remember when you were younger and it's like, ah, yeah. oh, you ain't got these though. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that, I think that's where I'm, yeah, I think yeah. that's where I'm gravitating I think, I think ultimately that's where a lot of us came from. Yeah. That whole thing of you would go out your way to find something someone else didn't have. Yeah. Rather than the... That was what it was about. Yeah. 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 You, you'd go on a family holiday to... America. To, to America, yeah. find some random Outlets. outlet, grab yeah. something, it's like, yeah, you can't get these, bro, you're not going on holiday, and I've got them. Yeah. The days of, if someone did have the same crep as you, you're refunding it. Yeah. Yeah. 50 quid. Really? 50 quid. 50 so quid. good price point. Yeah, well, you're not, you're well, gonna, you're, sell, it? You're not going to see no one else around you in our cycle, in our circles rock them. I hope not. I'm going to wear them to the offspring of it next week. I'm best not seeing nobody else wearing them. Hopefully we'll see you there too. Go Pedro, on, what, are okay, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Be not, honest. It's not hype. Yeah, I don't... I don't it's no, no, hype. but that, that's the whole point. And, yeah. and hype, not hype is potentially the new hype. Yes, but do you think people yeah. will do that? Or do you think still people will still be stuck in, I must have the hype as I, I, th I think relevant Eva's, and, Eva's fine. I think I think people people have been doing the non hype is hype thing for quite a while now. Hence why you did have the chunky shoe phase, but then that then became hype because the brands then started making hype chunky shoes to fit in with that. It, it's it's like buying a gr these days because your circles will only be going after hype. So whereas you have all your Travis's and whatnot, it'll be more rarer to see a uh, GR shoe on foot. So yeah, good choice. Blacklisted. Hey. What, what, has, what has tickled your fancy? Well, I didn't bring anything. No, no you don't need to bring anything. But from the selection, mm -hmm. I'm not a Jordan fan as it's been well documented. So don't talk about them then, yeah? No, but he's going to talk yeah, about Yeah, the he's going to talk about them. The six. The it's, six. Yeah. It's it's not shoe of the year, mm. though it does make my top ten. I think it's definitely contender. Yeah. But, yeah. But but because it's come out so late. No, I think does that affect it? Well, it's was robots. It, was it in the top ten? It didn't make for comp. No, no, no it, it didn't. Top it didn't. For complex. It's so late. But your stance on on top tens before the end before the yeah, year is I, anyway. yeah, so, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought okay. I don't agree with it. I thought the list was interesting in terms yeah. of what, where, where the shoes sat. But I think generally, um, it's quite weak, given. Well, it, I think it highlights. What What do you think shouldn't have been on that list? Easy. Which one? The blacks. Which so it was, the, it was the pilot black oh, three fifties. Yeah. Version twos. Yeah, version twos. I don't think. I think Yeezy's had its moment in the sun. And, Think uh, so? Yeah. Done? Done with it? Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, the prophecy's been fulfilled. Pretty much easy to share. Yeah, it's been you know fulfilled, what? so it doesn't need to be spoken about anymore. That is a, like, you know, slightly off, you know, NSR, non sneaker related and all of that. How yeah. do you, how do we all feel about Kanye's new, um, new lease of life? Multiple artists have changed up their, their paths. Does it feel authentic? To a lot of people, including myself, I'd say no. Do a lot of people care? 
No. I disagree. But carry on. No, because, okay, so to those who are of faith, <laughs> the fact that there's a hype religious album due to their beliefs and religion, it, it kind of ties in with, oh my gosh, he's a changed man, this is a great album, it's Kanye West, I'm okay. here for that. Right. Which is, I that. guess, which is, I guess, that's my stance. Yeah. In the sense of, it may not be the greatest album. Mm. It may not be typical Kanye in terms of the genius that we know him for. But the mere fact that it's provided a platform yeah. for conversation, whether you agree with him as a mm. person or not, whether you yeah. agree with faith or not, mm. the fact that it's a subject to be discussed, yeah. I think, is a good thing. But he, he, I'd still think. In terms of genius, he is because he's tapped that market and he's probably making a lot more consistent money than ever. And to go down the religious route, religion is such a massive part of our world that he's, his fan base is probably tripled now because of mainstream. I watched, uh, what's his name? I hate the guy. What's his name? James Corden. Mm. Okay. And Kanye was on James Corden. I fucking hate James Corden, but mm. there's the, one on the, airplane the one on the airplane. Yeah, and you know what? It was a good watch. It was like 20 minutes long. Mm. But the, there was two things that stood out to me. The first thing was Kanye said that God was showing off through him, and I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. But then the other thing that I took away from it was the fact that I've never seen Kanye smile so much consistently, and he looked genuinely happy. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that's... Oh, and what was it? There was, a, there was another thing that I watched on it. But he, he basically said that, you know, he's, he's moving the Yeezy factories to the States. Yeah. And basically, he's, he's going to be offering jobs to, you know, um, people who have just come out of prison. Yeah, the reform who, system. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And, you know, that, that type of thing you have to commend. Yeah. You're holding uh, Cloud White. Mm -hmm. Reflective. Reflective. Flex. Flex. In the past, <laughs> his trainers have come out to tie in with a particular concert he's done. So, Glow in the Dark tour was the Yeezy one. Um, Watch, the t Watch the Throne was the Yeezy two. Yeah. yeah. Should he have done a Jesus is King Yeezy 350? <laughs> <laughs> I think back I think like then though, the, the product was there just to supplement the actual tours, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. This time is now a standalone brand and then he's got a standalone tour. Yeah. So. Mm. You know, if he wants to tie them in, he can tie them in. I think, it, it, personally, I think it would have been awesome if he did make them tie in, but... Because his spiel back then was, obviously, shoes are made for athletes, but when you're performing, you're basically an athlete. Hence why the Easy One looked at how it did, and then the Easy Two was still based off um, performance architecture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should he have brought out a blue and yellow Jesus is King 350? If he did, mm -hmm. everyone would say he's profiting off religion. Like I did, initially, when yeah. we had the conversation. Well, the conversation. Yeah. 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 If he doesn't, people say it's a missed opportunity. There's no time with... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so... Unless he did it and then the prophets went to charity. That's a win, yeah. 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 That is a win. Yeah. Until yeah, next. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, Stevie is done oh, with Yeezy. Wow! Um, oh, that was so <laughs> What's your notable pickup recently? Sketch to. What are they called? Sketch to shelf. Sketch to shelf Air Max One. Taking it back there. Which which is your favourite out of the two then? Black and white pair. Sure. But the OG red was vital to have and has a lot better details, sketch-wise. Should this be a thing? Would you, would you want this on other Air Max models? Um, the whole schematics and... Truth be so told... Schematics? Schematics. Smoking. So, with, with, with this um, concept, it can just stop here. Um, um, yeah. they, 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 they've done well with these, these three. They look good, just leave it as it is. Let them. So, you wouldn't want that on a, a 90s or nah, a 180? Just, or... just leave it as it is. Is there a reference to that museum on that? What was the museum called? The uh, uh, Pompidou. Midsole, so sketches, pattern. No. So, yeah, there's, there's no reference to the Pompidou on here, but then we had the Air Max 1 Pompidou 
by day and by night pack. We did, which was very underrated. Yes, and at some point though, those all right rise in um, notoriety as well. Did you pick mine? I didn't. Did you pick mine? I oh, okay. I didn't, I missed them. Mm. I missed them, but I'll, I'll go back for those. But yeah, very, very good concept, but just leave it as it is now. Let them grow, mature, and just be as is. But yeah, so two, two slash three, very good Air Max ones. Very yeah. happy with them. You talk about missing shoes, mm -hmm. and for as long as I've known you, yeah. you pretty much clean up. Do you feel the um, the influx of shoes this year, twenty nineteen, mm -hmm. um, has been a lot, or have you been more selective in terms of it, what you're? It has about? been a lot. But because there is so much that has come out or is coming out, a lot of the really good shoes or potentially great shoes of the future aren't exploding in price. So you do have the opportunity to kind of hold off on buying some shoes straight away. And even picking them up on sale. Up. Picking them up on sale or even the resale is below retail as well. And because we've got so many avenues of picking up resale shoes as well, everything's just a lot easier. So, mm. you know, the thought of picking up a shoe below retail on resale, resale yeah. Yeah. It blows my mind. Exactly. And um, I, that, that will tie into two of the pairs that InstaG brought to us, which is the Air Max Lite 2s. Because both of those, really good shoe, really good, really glad to see them come back. Thanks. Cheers. And both were picked up for a fraction of their retail price. We picked those up between the 40 and 50 pound mark. What was retail on them? 110. 110. 110. Yeah. But again, because they're not the most hyped shoe, but they're a really great, classic shoe. Nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia-wise, they, they had to be in the collection. Which brings me on to my next question. Mm -hmm. Do you think brands, in fact, do you think brands like Nike um, are hurting themselves in terms of the amount of shoes they're dropping? And no. Then, and then the fact that they don't sell, well, they don't sell out. Yeah. They go in to sell mm -hmm. at half the price. Yeah. Does that not damage them? Well... Them Nike wanting to do their big targets and whatever, they obviously would like everything they're producing to sell through at the highest price possible. But in terms of us as collectors, seeing stuff being ignored, going to sell, going to obscurity, and then being able to put it out a lot later is quite nice because then that ties into the whole thing of I'm rocking something no one else is rocking and it doesn't necessarily have to be your Travis mm -hmm. or your Off-White. You can bring these out and people would have forgotten about them, not cared about them. Well, you know, what? It's, it's interesting that you say that because, I mean, wasn't that the whole business model of them opening up so many factory stores? Yes. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. And then, what are they doing now? They're, they're pulling back the amount of retailers that they're distributing to, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. When people are complaining that it's going to kill their businesses or something. Yeah, because they won't be able to shift the units that they need them to. Mm. Yeah. So, in actual fact, what, what will happen is the brands themselves, they will push the products um, either through online, well, the majority of it, well, they'll yeah, they start will to shift online them. or through their own yeah. stores. Yeah. And you can see that with um, the announcements that have been made in terms of the various... Um, senior management or CEOs that have stepped down. You've got Mark, like Parker. Mark Parker, well, the yeah. Adidas guy, he stepped down uh, the, um, under, um, under Mark, Armour. Mark Parker <laughs> more stepped aside than stepped, stepped down. But there's also talk amongst the people who make a living from reselling saying that's going to hurt their business because then there'll be less stores that they'll be able to get in touch with to get their pairs mm -hmm. mm. behind the scenes as well. So it's, it's an interesting one. I think Nike need to consider where the collectors have come from. It's a lot of these independent stores that we went to in the first place to get a lot of our stuff and what... Build relationships with. Yeah. And it's what made 
trainer collecting cool because it wasn't your mainstream you knew there was that cool and independent shop that would have something that a mainstream shop didn't have mm. and that kind of yeah I shop here as opposed to shopping at some of the mainstream stores out there sure sure Sure. That's, yeah, that's what it was like in the early days. Like independent yeah. stores like Frank Johnson's and Rhino Sports. And yeah. Well, I mean, you could even say that back then, Offspring was classed as yeah. Yeah. an independent store, wasn't it? Yeah. So, big time. Yeah. So, what are we going to do? Are we going to clap someone in? Yeah. <laughs> clap someone out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's yeah. clapping out? Me. Bye. 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 Well, one. Boom. Easy. 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 And this is, you know, you know the name? Ray it is underscore Nelson underscore 445. It's not smooth yet. It's not smooth I'm yet. Ma, ma, ma. We're, we're working yes. on it. It's the secondary. So, brother, what is on foot? The pat up. What, what, what were these? Were they a friends and family exclusive release? Because when I got the message, it was yeah. friends and family. The message, you know. Did somebody get plugged? You know what I mean? Plug. Shout out. You know who you are. I'm scared. But yeah, so what, I'm not sure what they were because they did go on a a general release out of the Pata store only. Yeah, so it was a Pata exclusive. Right. Okay. So Which, that, that's, yeah. that's what's on foot. Um, I think I've scuffed them already. You oh, have, but we, we we've got people for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shouts out to Jason Marks. Jeff. Jeff. My name is Jeff. Zoop zoop. Um, yeah. So that's what I've got on foot. Like I, I am a fan of the seven, um, and when they. Well, they brought out the two colorways. Um, well, no, we saw a, a picture of these and then we got the whatever that other colorway was. And I bought those, I liked them. But then when I had the opportunity to buy these, ran in like a two footed tackle, got them on the feet straight away. No Red line. card, straight up. There you go. No VAR. And also, <laughs> also, what has tickled your fancy since we were last on film? Uh jeez, that has been a hell of a lot. A lot. Um, a lot. It hasn't released yet, but the um so man's just coming and baking boundaries. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm actually looking forward to it. Whether I'll get them or not is another thing. It's yeah. the um the pony hair Jordan Force, I can't remember what her name is, something Kim. You, oh, oh, Olivia, yeah, Olivia, Olivia, Olivia Kim. Kim. Yeah. Yes. So those release well today's day is what the seventh. So they release tomorrow on the eighth. Yes. Um Apparently Nike only. Yes. So that's Good luck to everybody that's after them. Please show us your pictures once you get them. All that good yeah. stuff. So yeah, that's what you're looking forward so to. That's what I'm looking forward to. Mm. What, what I'm happy what I picked up is the, the basement stuff. So I picked up the London pair of the basements. Yeah. And then I picked up the um, Manchester pair of the basements. Dash, yeah. Got it, got it. Got you got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it. Good hands, yeah. good hands. So I, I, I love these, man. Like, as, as, as you always say, black trainers and me are synonymous. Shout out Paolo and Co. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. Um, and I know there was a lot of, I don't use the word hate, I think that's a disrespectful word, but there was a lot of controversy or whatever about um, whether people like them, three colorways, is the basement big enough to support a release like this? And I just thought, stuff all that, it is a nice trainer, like the use of materials, um, black, mm -hmm. 3M with neon, whatever you want to call it, yellow or whatever. Bolt. 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 That's the one. Works for me. So, whether people call it, oh, it's a road man. What utilise Volt better? <laughs> what utilise Volt better? If that was a glow in the dark so Thank you. Testify. would have been a Mazza. And I don't know what, why. Why I mean, didn't it glow? Like, who needs to be sacked for this? Like, Why didn't wow. it glow? Seriously. No, no, I'll start a campaign. I'll start a campaign. I'll, I'll do my own individual Instagram page and get everybody in there. Because that was that was a big... I don't know. It's like, called a species... What is it? New species. New species. And it don't glow. It don't, why don't it glow? Like, it's all that alien thing and... Oh, so is it based uh, off alien? Yeah, bits, yeah, bits yeah but it don't so glow. That's, that's, that's a joke. That is dead food, bro. Like... It, don't I'm make really sense. Happy about this. Of course not. Look at it. <laughs> Why doesn't it glow? It, it looks like it glows. <laughs> it looks like it glows. Why is it not glowing? It looks like you should be able to walk outside right now and that should And light. You know, like when I got them and I thought, oh, it has to glow. So I'm there, I didn't even just like this. Charging it. Charging it up. Locked off the light. 
Nothing. Oh, dead. Right. Dead okay, girl. Maybe I'm, I'm into the halogen. So when. Do you actually change lights? It's fucking. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> it glow. Did it glow? I, I don't know. I, I don't think know. that is the one of the biggest missed opportunities yeah. of 2019. I agree, I agree. A non-glowing soul. A non-glowing soul that appears to glow, that doesn't. They really dropped the ball on that, and I say whoever is the person who signed it off to say that it shouldn't glow, because someone in the meeting said, let's make it a glow soul, and someone said, no, 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 it costs too much money, or something along those lines. That person needs to have a discipline. Fuck you, whoever that was. Yeah, exactly. what are you playing at? Yeah. If we know you, we're sorry, bro. You know no, what? I'm not sorry. <laughs> you know what? The, the, whole, the whole it costs too much money, I think that's baloney for the simple reason being. They would have just put the mark up on it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and I think if that, if that glowed, that would be top 10, arguably top 5 drop this year. Yeah, uh, yeah. Easily. I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd say that. But you didn't, so you're not in the running. Do you know what? One thing that is impressive about this shoe unlike the basement unfortunately Talk is to us. the quality the craftsmanship the um just forget that it doesn't glow just there's no issues with it mm. at all but it don't glow. the thing is though them, them <laughs> scales these scales in the front they will rub off yeah. like yeah like uh the yeezy ones where the wires were printed into yes yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they will yeah, come yeah. off if you wear them but okay um, in, in regards to you about mentioned about quality, quality yes. what's wrong with that quality wise yeah, but yours is one of a few. Yeah, a that's, minority. There, are, there has been some horror stories. That yeah, I've seen. yeah. Uh, there has been, but there were always horror stories with nineties um, period. If you think back to the Halloweens when um, some people had the uh, wonky toe box. Yes. So mm-hmm. I had another, I've got pictures. So I can't remember who had them. Oh, what was that guy's name? If he's not memorable enough, then we keep it moving. He is, but I, I, can't, I probably can't. I'll say his name off camera because there's a bit of controversy. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, but please yeah. do. Um, but yeah so, there, yeah, so there's always quality issues. I, I just think with the London pair, I think there was more quality issues with those than maybe these mm. and the Glasgow pair. The London pair were the most experimental in terms of the, the rip-off swoosh right. um, and just the build of it. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of people are getting in their feelings saying, oh, what are the basement doing? Let's be real. It weren't Paolo and the man then making the shoe. Right. It was, it was Nike that produced that shoe. So you can't blame the basement. I, I'm, for, I, well, I'm not blaming anybody for it. I, I, yeah. I, I, like, I like all three of them. And I think for a London collective, mm. it started off from uh, a Facebook group, yeah. Instagram with the hashtag into three pairs of trainers that are released the same year and it's a London-based thing or a UK-based thing. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and the thing is, down the line, we've seen what the London Dunks and all of those London-based shoes have done in the past. Give these time, give these time. You're gonna go after the Glasgow's? I think so, I just think people have been stupid with the prices. I don't know if it's shipping from Glasgow to London while they're bumping up. What are you mail? It's 11 pound. Why are they charge me fifty pound on top? Somebody oh, needs yeah. to yeah. But um, I should be able to source them. I reckon that they'll um, dip. Yeah, they'll dip. Yeah. There were, there's so much other shit coming out. Resellers yeah. can't afford to hold on to everything now. Real talk. It's fantastic. Real talk. Very quickly, <laughs> very quickly before we move on, I yeah. know we've, we've spoke about the quality. Mm-hmm. Uh, something that I just want to bring up real quick. In terms of the the cost of shoes, in terms of what we pay for now, do you believe that we should be entitled, given what we pay? For the quality that we receive, or do we just, or should we just be happy like, to like, accept? Like anything you buy, you should expect quality, but we still buy them. If, if you want to make a change, as a mass group, don't buy it. But what do you mean? Is in if we buy something, can you ship it bring it back? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, well, you, that, that's your. Exactly, you can do you, that. You do. No, but in the sense that, okay, I think what I'm, what I'm really trying to say is we spend 160, 140, 210, 250 on, on shoes. Yeah. And yet yeah, we get arguably in some cases substandard quality. So surely if we're spending that level of um, money on, on premium goods. I think the reality is, uh, if you don't pay for it, somebody someone else, else will. will. And you, you are within your rights, and there's people that go into shops when there is a, a release or a hype release, 
they bring out the trainers, they take them out the box, they inspect them, and they say, yes, I want that pair, or no, get me another left foot. Get me another one. But that shouldn't excuse the brands for poor quality products produced. Well, it shouldn't, but then what are we going to do? We're going to fly out to, where is it, in China? And we're, do, we're, not, we're not getting paid for it. Someone's being paid to do the job, so someone's <coughs> obviously not doing their job properly. But then, if these are made to order and they make a thousand pairs, and they need to ship a thousand pairs to the UK, and they see five pairs that are manky, what are they going to do? They're sending that shit, they ain't got no time for it, hopefully no one sees. Mm. And also, these days, I might want my basement Air Max 90 to have an up, down, upside down swoosh because then it'll be, <laughs> it will be, it will be the rarest out of all of them. So if you see any defects in it, my way, bro. It's like the fact that Stevie just sat down like that. <laughs> Obviously we'd all like the best quality, but it is what it is, isn't it? You let a pair go and someone else is going to snap they it up and, it, and flex on the gram for yeah. you. <laughs> so, so. Right, real quick before we go, is there anything that anybody is looking forward to towards the end of the year? The, um, both uh, footwear-wise or events-wise? Events-wise, we know that Ospring are doing a ZX Adidas event. That should be good. If we see you down there, please say hello. We do not bite, apart from Pedro. He's wow. quite dangerous. Um, Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> any other events coming up? There is. There's the sold out one, but that's up. Up north. Up north we yeah. might make a trip for that. No, that's on the same day as the ZX event. We won't make a trip for that. <laughs> Crip City on the 24th. If you're there, enjoy. If you see us, if we're going. I thought we were. I don't know. Yeah, I, right I, I, I don't get invited. I'm going. I'm going. I'm He's going. going. Rain's going. Rain's on. I, should, I you. should be there. Should be. Should, should be. be. Rain. When you go to these events like Crip City and so on, are you still looking for stuff to buy, or is it just a social? Oh, I'm always looking thing? for stuff to buy, but there's never anything. It's always the same. Like you get, you know. Um, yeah, back in the day, there used to be like a few tables that had some rare gems that you were looking for or just yes. obscure bits and bobs. Yeah, yeah. You don't see that no more. Mm. Um, it's very rare that like, I'm, I'm looking for a pair of the original Griffey ones. Um, and I, 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 know I'm, I know I'm not going to see them there. Maybe what, the I, freshwater ones? Uh, no, you've got the freshwater and I can't remember what the original ones were. I've got mm. the freshwater ones. Okay. I'm looking for the, um, the first pair. Everyone thinks the first pair were the fresh, fresh waters, but I don't think They were the most... Yeah, right. hyped. Um, so I'm looking for a pair of those, but I know I won't see them. I, I know I won't see them there. So it's a, mm. bit, it's a bit disheartening. You go to those events to kind of catch up with people, and then there might be one person who's got a stray box in the back when he's trying to sell all the Yeezys and it's the trainer that you want, he hasn't even got it out for sale. You know what yeah. that means, right? We've got a hit up sneaker nest in, uh, in Europe. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Got a lot of money for sneaker nest, though. But at least they, they cater to. The, course, the, old, the OG tables and all them things there. Mr. Blacklisted, what are you looking forward to or what are you hoping to Robocop? Um, there's not much left, really. Um, no? Not really, no. There's quite a bit, you know. There's, well, I guess, okay, uh, 8000, ZX 8000 vintage. Yes, very nice. That's coming out. And just, I want to see what people do with the Cart Air Force Ones. Well, yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. That is a good point. Good well, luck. what they're going to try and what do is actually do. try and buy it. Eh? <laughs> so rude. It's almost like what they're going to try and do is buy a pair. What the off-white street, whatever thing that is with a big soul. <laughs> <laughs> that was the big belly laugh that I'll, came out I'll there. It in there. What am I looking forward to? Uh, yeah, the ZX. That's the only thing that. I've, yeah. Really. Well, to be fair, I just got married, didn't I? I'm broke. So. Congratulations. Oh, thanks, man. Congrats. I thought that yeah. would be mentioned already. I might have mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, we didn't mention it. All oh, right. That is easy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's the only thing that I'm really looking forward to at the moment. Well, the only thing I'm excited about. What, the OG or the no wall needed? What, them ones? The Berlin? The Berlin wall ones? No, just the OG. No, that's a great pack, by the way. The um, big up, um, what's his name? Sneaker Annex yeah. for yeah. their review. Yeah. Well done for going out to Berlin. 
Was it Berlin they went to? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing yes. bits. Yeah, doing like bits, doing overkill. bits. Overkill. Would you travel to another country for a trainer? I have done. Like, what trainer to? Um, no, I haven't. Sorry. <laughs> 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 and on that note, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, please. And on that I'm note, I'm tired. We've been the panel. He is. Ben Wall Jumps. He is. Raid underscore Dosa. Four, four, five. He is. Blacklisted. He is. Stevie Institute. And I've been Mills GP. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep it locked. Make sure you head over to the Instagram. Follow us on there. If not, just if you're already on there, um, just say hi. We'll say hi. Safe, innit? Don't forget the Facebook group as well. Oh shit, yeah. And a website. And a website. And a website. That was quite a smooth outro, man. It was, it was. Well done. That's your job now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. I thought it was Trevor McDonald's. Wow. <laughs>